I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Are you ready to explore the jungle? There are parts of three jungles here, all from different parts of the world. The Amazon area includes the jungles of South and Central America. It holds many neat things, like toucans and monkeys and even blue frogs. The African area has elephants and electric catfish and chameleons. In the Asian area, there are dragons and spitting fish, and even a plant that eats bugs. Why, there are just hundreds of things to see and do. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Gee, you can see all three jungles from up here. These jungles are all tropical which means they grow near the Earth's equator. Another word for jungle is rainforest. There's bound to be some interesting animals at that waterfall. The Southeast Asian jungle can be found in countries like Indonesia, New Guinea, Malaysia, and Thailand. Taper. T-A-P-I-R. These shy animals are smaller cousins of the horse and rhinoceros. Tapers live alone, spending most of the night eating plants on the jungle floor. Their keen sense of smell helps them find the tastiest plants, and they use their flexible nose to pull the food into their mouth. When scared, tapers run and jump into a nearby river and swim underwater. If the taper is lucky, the enemy will leave before the taper comes up for air. Floor, F-L-O-O-R, there. The ground, or bottom layer of the jungle, is called the floor. It is often cool and dark there, because the understory and canopy trees block most of the sunshine. The plants that live on the floor have big, thin leaves to catch the small amount of light on the floor. The floor is covered with fallen trees and leaves that are food to the beetles and other bugs that live there. Zebra plants, moon rats, and okapi all make their home on the floor. Komodo Dragon, K-O-M-O-D-O-D-R-A-G-O-N. This reptile is one of the world's biggest lizards, growing up to 10 feet long. Because they are so big, Komodos are sometimes called the land crocodile. Although they stand low to the ground, Komodo dragons can attack animals as big as a taper. Komodos use their long, thick tail to knock away other animals trying to get at their food. After eating a big meal, a Komodo dragon will be full for days and spend its time just lying in the sun. Waterfall. W A T E R F A L L. A river that drops down a long way is called a waterfall. Waterfalls are found all over the world. Angel Falls is the highest waterfall in the world, plunging 3,212 feet over a rugged cliff. That's higher than the tallest skyscraper ever built. Angel Falls is really hard to get to, though, because it is deep within a very thick jungle. Dole, D-H-O-L-E. These wild jungle dogs don't bark. Instead, they talk to each other by whining, growling, and whistling. So sometimes they're called the whistling dog. Doles travel through the jungle in packs, looking for food. They'll follow an animal for hours, jogging along until it gets too tired and stops running. If a tiger tries to take their food, Doles will chase it away, even though the tiger is twice their size. Doles are very ferocious animals. 
not at all like the friendly dogs people have for pets. Macaque. M. A. C. A. Q. U. E. The monkeys with the funniest hairdos have to be the macaques. The hair on their head often looks like a hat, a bonnet, or a lion's mane. Some macaques live near rivers, beaches, or mangrove swamps because their main food is crabs. They sit along the river's edge grabbing crabs with their hands. They can even dive deep into the water chasing the crabs because these monkeys are excellent swimmers. Monkey. M-O-N-K-E-Y. Monkeys are related to apes, but the two are not the same. Like apes, monkeys have eyes on the front of their head instead of on the side like many other animals do. Unlike apes, most monkeys have tails that help them balance in the trees or act as another hand. Monkey hands have thumbs, and both hands and feet are perfect for grabbing tree branches. Monkeys also have smaller brains and rounder chests than apes, and only live to be 30 years old. Howler, squirrel, spider, pygmy marmoset, mandrel, woolly, and macaque are all types of monkeys. Squirrel monkey. S-Q-U-I-R-R-E-L-M-O-N-K-E-Y. Squirrel monkeys get their name from their small size and the short jerky movements that are so like a squirrel's. Squirrel monkeys travel in large groups, swinging through the canopy trees until food is found and then coming together to eat. While they like the safety of the canopy, they will travel down to the understory and floor in their search for berries, nuts, and fruits. Squirrel monkeys will also gobble up insects, spiders, lizards, Watson eggs, and even tent bats. When they aren't eating, they play and take turns cleaning each other's short fur. Orangutan. O R A N G U T A N. Orangutans are apes with long reddish orange fur and puffy faces. Their arms are so long, the fingers hang down almost to the orangutan's ankles. The orangutan's long grasping toes are perfect for holding fruit as it swings through the trees with its long arms. If the next tree is too far away to swing to, an orangutan tries to push another nearby tree over and ride the falling tree to the next tree. They prefer to live alone, spending most of the time high up in the jungle canopy. In fact, the orangutan is the largest animal that lives in trees. Mangrove. M A N G R O V E. Tangled roots growing right out of the river make these trees look like gangly dancers. Above water, the bare roots breathe the air. Underwater, the roots trap mud, leaves, and other scraps to anchor the tree to the river bottom. Its spear length seeds begin growing into trees while still on the parent tree. Once a baby tree drops into the water, it quickly sends its roots to the bottom to keep it from floating away. 
While dangerous creatures like mangrove snakes lurk in its roots, mangroves also give a home to proboscis monkeys, birds, and other friendly creatures.